Girls, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I am back making a Ferris wheel today. So I'm making it into a card. I did get this from In Love Hearts. Um, and I got it about a week and a half when I ordered it. So I've been kind of playing around with it. And I really do like the die. It cuts really, really well. I like the die really well. But, um... So I had to figure out how to put it together where I can make it to move. So I went on YouTube and the In Love site came up where they had made a card. So I used their technique and made a card. This is one that I have made. And look, you can, this thing really turns. It turned out super, super cute. I kind of altered it a little bit from their tutorial, um, but I did put it together kind of like, so because they showed how to make it turn. That's what I did um, follow their tutorial for. So anyway, I thought I would just bring you along and show you how I made this really fast. Now this is actually, um, this is actually um, going for my swap partner. One of these is going for my swap partner and it is made uh, pretty much out of Maggie, Show Maggie Holmes paper. So anyway, let's just get on with this. So, I'm going to put this aside. We're going to put together the Ferris wheel really fast. I've got everything cut. Now here is the base of the Ferris wheel. And I already, I cut two pieces and I glued them both together so it would be real sturdy. This is the pay, pick, uh, this is the one that I'm going to do where um, it's going to overlay. So the thing of the trick I figured out about this one is you have to um, line it up just so. So you have to figure out exactly where, where it is. And I think that that is where it's going to pretty much. Well, let me move it over one more, two more. It's just that was my trickiest part is getting things lined up. There we go. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Now, after I have went and figured out how to get it lined up, now I'm going to take it off and put some glue on it. So, I am using, and let me show you what I'm using. Oops, and I just knocked that over. That's okay. I am going to use my sticky specs. I actually got this at a craft fair about a year and a half, two years ago. That is the um, site that I got it at. The... It's a, was a booth there. It was scrapbookusaca.com. So anyway, this is actually really good. Like if you're using um, small, if you're trying to glue like small stuff on here. So I'm going to try to make it easier on myself before I go put any of the sticky specs. I'm going to make myself a mark over here and a mark I'm trying to make myself a mark right here. So I know where these go. So these little sticky specs right here, I've used it already. You can use it over and over, but it's got little tiny glue dots all over it. So as you see, it just automatically sticks on there really, really well. And then you just peel it off and you wanna make sure that it's got enough on there. You can feel it. And you can kind of see it when you pull it off. You can kind of see it a little bit. And then you're just going to stick it on. Oopsie, look at that. It's taken away with my stuff here. Let me make sure I don't let it take that away for me because I need it. Okay, I'm going to move that off to the side because that could be crazy. And now I need to find, here's my blue mark. I see my blue mark. And I'm just going to line my blue mark up so I can layer this up. On their, on their tutorial, they actually cut out, cut out uh, three different colors and made the rings different colors, but I didn't do that. So you want to make sure you're pressing these down really well. So the sticky specs... You can see, look how nice, it, look how nice it sticks. So anyway, it's pretty good and sturdy. The only thing is, is I used 110 pound cardstock for the white pieces, the two that I glued together, 
And this, of course, is just designer series paper. So there is that one. You just want to make sure that you can try to get it as flat as you can. Okay, now this one, this is going to be the star that goes in the center. See the star there? So this is going to be the star. Now this is not a Maggie Holmes paper. I just needed a blue accent so I can cover this one up as well. And so it's going to go right here. I'm going to grab my little sheet of sticky spec here. And I'm going to get some glue on this one. You can use this little sticky spec sheets over and over and over <laughs> before they won't work anymore. I use them until they just kind of aren't aren't uh, looking pretty anymore. And that's what I do. It's gonna wait till after I finished eating dinner and stuff to, to film this. Um, my hubby should be home in about 20 minutes. I do have a chicken pot pie in my oven, so I'm going to have to keep an ear out for my pot pie. Oh, it's just something different to cook. Okay, so there we go. Got that one on. I feel the sticky on my thumbs now. But I just thought adding a little touch of blue on here would actually make it look really pretty. So, okay, so there's that. Now for this particular one, this is gonna be for like the stand of the, come here. It's like for the stand. So I'm gonna layer this up as well. You can do more than one, pa one white piece if you want. Um, I'm just gonna do one for right now. On the other one I did do two. And I'm just gonna use glue on this one since it's not so small. Okay, get that pressed down. Okay, and then you have other little pieces. We'll move on to this. These are like, these, um, I have to say, these were like the hardest thing to cut out. They're like the little um, seats on the Ferris wheel. So on the other one, I actually cut out 12, one for each of the deals right there, but I, for this one, I'm just gonna do six. Because these were the worst part to cut out. So I just layer, lay them up here. And I'm just gonna skip every other one. They look like little baskets, so they did pretty good when they made this die to kind of match it up. And, oops, I was getting it upside down. You can kind of see what would be the bottom and what would be the top. So I will send one of these to my partner. My partner is very devoted watching my channel. And so it's really, really, I think it's killing her not to watch right now. Cause she's like, I didn't watch. It's, it's killing me, but I didn't watch. So I really appreciate her dedication to watching my videos. I do. She's such a sweet lady. We've had many a conversations and everything, but it was time for us to be able to swap too. So I just love every month being able to swap with different people in my group. Okay, so I've added it on just like that. And so what you're gonna do, now these right here, they're kind of like for the center, okay? Um, these right here are the little foam, it's little foam pieces that I cut. Let me see if I can grab. I use this right here, my foam adhesive sheet, heat, uh, sheets, and I cut two of them. So I'm gonna peel the tape off one, and I am going to put some glue on it, just to make sure it sticks good. And then I'm gonna wait to do the other one until I'm ready because that side I can peel off. So let's go ahead and get this one ready. Put 
some glue. I have to say, I watched the video of how to put this together multiple times. And um, it did take me a little time to really, really pay attention to it and be able to know how to put it together where it will turn. That was what I was trying to learn. So, okay. So I think I have things ready. Have my card base ready. So, what I did is I took a piece of white paper and this is 110 pound. And I am going to utilize this paper right here. It's a Maggie Holmes. I'm gonna utilize this as my base paper. But before I put it on, I think um, for this one, I'm gonna do it in portrait. But before I put it on, I want to make sure where I wanna, where I'm gonna wanna put this. So what you wanna do is you wanna kind of figure out where on your paper you're gonna want this at. Let me get you down a little more. So you're gonna try to figure out exactly where you want this. And I think that that will be a good height. And so you're just gonna take your pencil, something you're gonna put your, mark your circle there, because you're gonna need to punch a hole. And where'd my other one go? And this one right here as well, we'll go over there. But I'm gonna punch this one first, right where I want it on the paper. I'm gonna grab my crocodile. And I think it's gonna look really good about right there on the paper. So you're gonna take your paper, and I'm using the 3 16 hole. punch my hole and it's a little bit off. I'm gonna try to go a little bit more in the center. Just like that is fine. And then this is gonna go here, but I also need to put on the top, we'll go here and then this will go on top. So before I go any further, I need to figure out exactly where this is going to go. I want this to be as centered as I can get it. And then I'm gonna punch that hole. So I'm gonna kind of hold it in place, just kind of look, just eyeball it, stick it under here and punch my hole. Actually, I'm gonna do myself a favor and just draw the hole. Okay, that way I can just punch it'll be close enough. So if you look at this one, if you look at this one, the little, the little stand is underneath the star. So I'm going to go ahead while I've got this all out here. Let me see where my foam tape went. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some little foam dots down here on the bottom. I'm gonna peel that off because I wanna put two because I noticed on the other one I needed, I layered it up with two foam dots. That way then that's ready to roll. Okay, move that out of the way. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be putting one of my little foam deals on the bottom. I'm gonna, I've got an extra white paper I cut and it's gonna go behind. And then I will layer over and actually let's do it this way. And let me grab, I've got some brads here. My, this is the only brads I had. If I had them a little bit longer, I think it would be better. 
but they still worked. So, so I'm gonna grab, put that on the back. I'm gonna put this on the top of it. I'm going to add the stand and the star. And actually, let me see what I did here. Actually, this way. Sorry about that, y'all. You want to put that. At, you want to put an extra little foamy in there so it helps it to turn. Now I'm gonna put this up here. And then I will add in my brad. And then I'm going to put it through the hole on my paper. And I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to open up my brad. And see, maybe by doing this and just holding the stand in place, this will turn. Okay? So that's how I got that on there. So before I go any further, I want to add a little bit of little trim on here on my card. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my scissors. And this will go, I'm just going to put this going across the bottom just to be pretty. Grab my glue. I'm going to lift that up just a little bit just so I can get my little trim. And I cut myself a piece of pink that'll just go across here. So I think that'll be okay. So I'm gonna just cut and just glue my pink on. And I'm gonna just kind of put it in the center. And then I'm going to trim this off because it's too long. And now, now that I have everything on my paper, I'm going to take off the paper on my little glue or on my foam dots. And I'm going to put them down. I'm just going to put them down. You got to kind of look to make sure you're making them look as straight as you can. I'm going to press that down. So now, see how it still turns? Let me get you out here a little bit. Sorry about that, go. See how it turns? It's catching on something. I've got it catching. There it goes. So now I've got, my, got that on there. Now I'm just going to add this to my card base. Um, what I did on the other one is I um, added a little piece of tape over the back of my brad. I'm going to press that down. This is going to go over the top. And I know with the pink paper, it makes it look a little busy, but we are doing Maggie Holmes um, paper collection. So I'm just going to now glue this on. On their tutorial, when they made their card, they put foam tape on the back of this, and I didn't really see the need. Mine was working out fine. Okay. And I'm just adding my Ferris wheel on here. Okay, y'all. So sorry about that. I had to stop. Um, I had to get my chicken pot pie out of the oven. And then my husband came home, so we went ahead and ate dinner. So I've gone ahead and I have finished the card. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So this is what it ended up looking like. So what I did is I added a little jimmy in the in the center. I just glued that on. 
This Enjoy the Now, I thought it was great because going on a Ferris wheel is something fun. And so I got that like out of my, like out of my thickers. And on the flowers, I just added a few flowers and I, I had put something here and I need to add that. I just realized I didn't do that. So I'm going to pull one out. These are just little white flowers I've, I have on my stash that I got it. Um, that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to add this one on because I forgot to add one there when I pulled something off. I'm just going to add one more. Just kind of make it look like the flowers are going up. Oh, I've got one that's got pink. Some of these, the little jimmies didn't get right in the center. I hate that part. So I'll just flip it over and add the jimmy on the other side. Because when I pull it off, it actually kind of pulls the paper a little bit. So I'm just going to glue it back on. So anyway, but this is how it turned out. I think it is super darling. Um, I like the gold one too. I just think this one is more fun. This one is a little bit more fancier looking with the gold. Um, but I think this one is just super, super fun. And um, I had so much fun creating this. Um, like I said, the flowers came from um, their paper studio. They came from Hobby Lobby. The fun and the enjoy the now is just out of my thickers. And the jimmies, they, I believe they came from Hobby Lobby. But look at that, isn't that so cute? So I think what I'll do is I'll quickly, um, I'm going to add some paper inside. Let's just do that quickly um, together. So let me see. I'm going to use the pink paper like I've been using. This paper, I did get this one at, I think I have it in my stash from whenever I used to go to Tuesday morning. So on the inside, I'm just going to make sure I cut myself two pieces and I'm going to cover each side with the pink. I just want it to kind of make it, kind of give it a little, like make it really pretty inside, not just drab and white. And I just want it to be really pretty for my partner. So let's get this out a little bit. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. And go ahead and trim and I'm going to go ahead and cut two pieces. And that way then I have one for the top and one for the bottom. So I think... This one needs to go, I'm just going to measure it up against it just so I can get paper that's close to that same size. And I'm just going to glue this on. One's going to be on the top, one's going to be on the bottom. <laughs> I was sitting in there with my husband a while ago and um, he's watching the news and y'all the COVID cases it's just parents are like saying please make the man mass mandate again because because of COVID and everything they're really worried about their kids the kids can't be vaccinated and so forth but my husband he was watching it and I was sitting on the couch and we have like a sectional and it's kind of like oops it's not straight let me fix that our sectional, you know, in the corner, it's always the most comfortable. And it's like, we kind of like whoever gets there first and we're like nanny, nanny, boo, boo. <laughs> uh, but anyway, my husband went over and got in the corner, still had our blankets from last night where we kind of cozy up together and just, and just watch our shows and, you know, and, um, so what did he do? He went over and jumped in there. I said, hey, trying to get that spot before me? He goes, it's first come, first serve. But it is the funniest thing. But anyway, I sat with him for a few minutes before I was going to come in here and finish this. And um, I look over, and he's already fallen asleep. He's taking a nap. I mean, he works in the heat. He works on cars. And so 
being out in the Texas heat is very, very exhausting for him. Okay, so I want to make sure that this glue, this gets glued down really well. Let me grab my bone folder. So anyway, I went ahead and said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get up and go finish this card and um, finish this video so I can get it out for you guys. And he opened up his eyes and he went, I fell asleep. I said, you think? Yeah, you fell asleep all right. Okay. So now I've added pink on the inside. I think, um, let's see. I think I will just add like a little, one of my flowers or, let's see here. This one I haven't had my stash as well. Let's see where I want to put the bow. I think I'll add the little bow up here at the top. Just because I think it's just pretty with the pink. And and I was going to use the smile that I have on here. Yeah, I'm not going to put that. I mean, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to add, what did I do with my flowers? I think I'll just add a flower or two. Just add a, maybe I'll just add a flower. And... I think I'll do three flowers just over here in the corner. A little heart right there. Let's add it in. And I think that I'll leave it at that. That leaves me plenty of place to write a greeting for my partner. And so I don't want to put this in an envelope and smush it down. So I think what I'll do is put it in a clear bag and it will go into um, into the box for my partner. But isn't that so cute? I just love this. This Ferris wheel is so happy. And um, I, just, I just love this. I love this so much. I hope that my partner enjoys everything I'm making for her. And um, yeah this I think this turned out super cute so anyway yep I'm gonna leave it at that y'all I hope you guys have an awesome evening and thank you so so much for coming back and watching my channel I appreciate it hope you like my super fun cards I will link the die below and um yeah there we go y'all um anyway have a great night and I'll talk to you soon bye y'all love you